Yeah, so here we are in Miles City, and uh, you can see from the background there we're in an RV park. Uh, we made it down through Montana going east, came down through Haver and uh, then through Fort Peck Dam and then Circle and a couple of places like that. And made it over to Connie and Glenda's for a couple of days, and now we're clear there, but here's that story. Yeah, somebody told me once that anybody could drive a motorhome on an interstate, but uh, I guess it was any fool that can drive an interstate. I guess it takes a real good fool to get out here in this stuff. Pretty country. There's some more of here. Missouri River breaks, badlands. Haven't ever been through this part of the country before. Yeah, if I didn't know better, I'd say that I was right out in the middle of a western movie with uh, Clint Eastwood and the boys. Maybe this is a covered wagon. Yeah, so a while ago, we passed a sign that said, Caution, cattle ahead. And apparently there is cattle ahead. They're coming our way. We think, well, these ones are coming our way. We don't know what's happening with the rest of them coming through here. That little guy there didn't know what to do. There you go, going across. This guy here, a little bit confused. Got to stay with the herd. No, I'll move over that way. What a bunch of smart cows. Cows here. It's starting to smell a little bit ripe in here. They've been pooping on the road. Yeah, they seem to be pretty well-mannered cows. They seem to know what side they're supposed to be on. You know, move over to that side, boys. Yeah, there you go. Move over to that side. We'll just wait here for a few minutes. I think uh, we can't win this battle. Looks like cows won. Lorne and Debbie, nothing. There's a truck coming our way. Looks like uh, he's stuck in the middle for a fairly slow ride home. Yeah, you got your old-fashioned cattle drive but on a nice paved road. There, we're just about to the end of it now. There comes the, the riders. How far do you have to go? Not too far, just over the hill. Up the other end, sir? Yep. Good looking bird. Thanks. <laughs> now there's evidence on the road here of the uh, cat herd for quite a ways. We're about a mile and a half or two miles past those guys now. And still, more evidence. Uh, there's still more evidence of that herd here. Now that's something you would never see on the interstate. Now I do believe this is likely where they started from. There's a couple of stragglers here. And it looks like all the, all the poop comes out of there. Yeah, so here we are coming into Circle, Montana. We'll get some fuel and then head her off for the towards the dive. Yeah, coming into downtown circle and there's the local cop sitting right there checking out for speeders. Didn't catch me as usual because I'm not speeding. And uh, that's pretty well it. We'll get some gas here. We'll try this once more. Take two. Coming in on Glen Dive, Montana. And that's where we catch I-94, and we head east on I-94 to Weibo, Montana. Then there's a little town in North Dakota, and then there's Medora. And we go off the highway of Medora and head south into the Badlands. Yeah, this is going past uh, Glendive now, and Glendive's along beside the highway. And we're on Interstate number 94. Uh, looks like we can go to Regina from here, but don't want to. Here we go, we're going into uh, Weibo to see a church. Yeah, this is coming into the town of Weibo, historic district that we're going to have a look at down here. Just because there will be downtown, the Rainbow Club and all the shamrock. What's the matter, Debbie? I'm going to cut this guy off. 
maybe he's a little bit worried that I'm going to cut somebody off, and I was. Perrier Weevil in 1876. Pierre? Pierre Weevil, take two. Pierre Weevil, 1876, he came around here, and there's lots of stuff you can read about if you take the time. Now, I don't know where this girl grew up, but she's a pretty good gardener by the look of it. Well, we're in Weebo looking for a church. Haven't found the church. Found a couple of old kind bombings or thrashing machines and a place to turn our rig around. So here's St. Peter's Catholic Church in Weebo, Montana. Built in 1880, what, baby? 1885. And it's built out of lava rock, which is all over the place here, too. And it has fine stained glass windows, but I can't see them for sure. Yeah, there's the side of the church. You can see it a little bit better. It's all lava rock built out of it. And the stained glass windows must look good from the inside because you can't tell from out here. Yeah, there's uh, some more relatives of the tin lady. And they seem to be uh, having some horse riding and uh, a little bit of fishing going on and things like that. Busy place. Yeah, here we're coming into Theodore Roosevelt National Park, and this is a stop along the I-94 that has uh, what they call the Painted Canyon. Look at out there, it's windy out here today. Saw a bump. Yeah, here's uh, Medora National Park in the Badlands. North Dakota. Yeah, traveling through into the uh, North Dakota Badlands. And uh, getting down towards Medora. Yeah, here's some more of the uh, North Dakota Badlands. Yeah, and here's a train coming through. Burlington National Santa Fe. Burlington Northern Santa Fe. See if this guy will be. <laughs> no, can't get him going. Oh well. Here I am coming into. Medora, and there's the Badlands Motel, and the factory stores, and all the stuff. Medora is kind of like a country store, country, what do you call it, Debbie? Western. It's a western type town that was built years ago, and uh, opens up in the summer for tourists. And now that's that's all for now. We'll get some more later. Won't be long.